As we glide into this new week, we want to recognize a local roller rink celebrating a major milestone. For 75 years now, this place has given skaters the chance to show off their skills on wheels or learn the ropes in a new welcoming environment. Our producer Alante Walker went to Neville Island to learn more about the legacy of the Neville Roller Drome. Take a look. Haven't done this in a while. We're gonna see how this goes. I'm excited though. I like the socks. It's not too tight, correct? It's, it's feeling. Little, it's a little tight. I'm feeling good. A little scared, but uh, I'm ready. This is year 75. This was known as the Diamond Anniversary. It so, is. Yes. Tell me a little bit about how you guys feel being a part of this massive, incredible legacy here at the Roller Drome. We've been here for 75 years, and we've owned it for 12, and I've been here 54 years as a skater. You grew up skating on this very rink. Tell me about some of your earliest memories of being here at the Roller Drome. My, my parents taught me here. They actually met and skated where Market Square is, at the, the Diamond. <laughs> That's where they, they skated. My dad taught me initially because, of course, mom didn't want to see her baby boy falling. It's a backwards two-step that I learned from my mother in the yeah. 70s. I love but it. It's adapted to this. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. As you guys mentioned, you guys have made these connections here for years. Everybody knows everybody. It's a real big family and community of skaters. So talk a little bit about the skating community that you guys have fostered here at the Roller Drome. Because we have been here so long and we have had six, almost seven generations yeah. of people coming through, that's the impact. Uh, when you meet someone, where did you skate? Oh, I have a skate memory. Skaters are phenomenal. And everyone you meet, you connect automatically because we have that common, we have the floor, we have the music, we have those memories, the birthday parties. The communities are everything from our session skaters, people who show up and they are regular Thursday night skaters, or they are regular family skaters, so they come out with their families, or they're teen skaters, you know, they're trying to to find ways of keeping parents at bay and they just want to be here for themselves. Friendships that are made and I hear that when I'm sitting in the ticket window wrapping up for the evening and I hear, oh, I met so and so and they were so nice, I can't wait to see them next week. We also have the team sports that are coming and doing fantastic work. We have Junior Roller Derby. They start training you at nine years of age. They go from 10 through 17, they actually compete. Then we have the Adult Derby League. Then we have our speed team and we have our artistic team. And you see those communities just connecting. When you skate, and we teach this with our new skaters, it's never about what you can do better than I can do. It's about where's my skill level? What do I want to do? I don't worry about anyone else on the floor. And those of us who are, have been skating a little bit longer, when we see a, a skate move, oh, how do you do that? Or, hey, do, do you know how to do this? We, we actually work with one another. Like Michael did. Yep. You're good. What that eventually turns into is this. Nice and smooth. But right now, till we get that muscle memory, you're stepping. Yep. Nice, nice. What do you hope to do in year 75 and beyond to keep evolving and growing the Roller Drome? Absolutely, taking opportunities to go into team building for corporate events, for small businesses, for you know Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, getting into the, the opportunity to, to allow schools to come in and you know have their their students have some stress relief. You have an opportunity to find your, kind of your tribe, your team, your, your voice here. Uh, you leave here happy, you leave here... <laughs> tired. Tired. <laughs> you leave here part of something bigger than all of us. Yeah. We are just privileged to have this section of that legacy. It's amazing that this has survived 75 years as you look at the opportunities that have been in the past were the biggest and the most sustained rink in Allegheny County and what a privilege.
that the fabric of Pittsburgh kept us going and the people who come through our doors come out and enjoy an amazing facility. They feel comfortable, it's home, it's safe. You hear a lot of that nowadays. Too many people trying to divide us. When you come to our rink, you're part of our skate family. You're part of 75 years of hundreds of thousands of people. That's what it's about for us. It truly is a privilege and we, we are honored that we can continue this and we're praying that we can continue for another 75 years. It is really a wonderful place and we're so lucky to have them. If you would like to help the Roller Drome celebrate their 75th anniversary, you can attend some of their upcoming events. They're hosting a Black Friday skate from 1 to 4 in the afternoon and an 80s night on Saturday evening from 8 to 11. We're going to have all of this information and more on our website, katiekiecom slash talk Pittsburgh and congratulations to them on 75 magical years. Still to come on the show, it's a jam packed night where creativity and heritage collide. We're learning more about an upcoming fashion gala and meeting the headlining performer. That's up next. Stay with us.